What I want to do in this video is get some practice building an important skill. Being able to look at some algebra that has happened and see whether it is correct. And this is valuable. You might look at other people's work. You might look at your own work and be able to tell, well, hey, did I do that right? And where did I, the logic maybe broke down or why am I not getting the answer that I think I should get? So let's, let's get some practice here. So I have an equation nine times two, nine times, and then parentheses, two x plus one third is equal to 39. And then someone has worked it out. This is step one, step two, and step three. They get to the solution x equals two. What I want you to do is pause this video and figure out, is this solution correct? Did all of the steps they do, do they make logical sense? Do they make algebraic sense? Or did they make a mistake in one of these steps? And if so, which of these steps did they make a mistake in? All right, so let's just work through this problem and see if all of these steps are reasonable. So in this first step, they went from, let's see, they got an 18x here. So it looks like they distributed the nine. So nine times two x would be 18x. And then of course you would also have to do nine times one third. Nine times one third would be nine thirds or three. So that seems reasonable and you still have a 39 here on the right hand side. So step one checks out. Now let's see, what did they do over here? Over on step, at, at, after step one or at, at this stage, you had 18x plus three. And then over here you only have 18x. So they must, have, they must have subtracted three from the left-hand side to get rid of this three. So they subtracted three from the left-hand side. Well, they subtract three from the left-hand side, they also need to subtract three from the right-hand side. And it looks like they did. 39 minus three is 36. So that step checks out. And so you have 18x is equal to 36. And so to solve for x, you would just want to divide both sides by 18. So you would get x is equal to 36 over 18 or two. So all of these steps check out. And so this is, there, there's no, no problem here, no mistake. And you can verify that x in, does indeed, x does indeed equal two. Let's do, let's do some more questions or see if we can identify more errors or maybe no errors. All right, we have eight thirds is equal to three times c plus five thirds. And we wanna solve for c. Pause the video and see if there any of these mistakes are in, or if any of these steps are incorrect, or maybe there's no mistake at all. All right, let's go step by step. So in step one, kept the left hand side the same. The right hand side, let's see, you go from three times this to three C. So it looks like they're distributing the three. So three times C is indeed three C. And then you want to distribute three times five thirds. Well, it's going to be five. That's not going to be five thirds. This thing right over here, this thing needs to be five not five thirds, so that is not correct. So step one is where we have the problem. Let's keep going. So let's do one more of these. I find this strangely entertaining. All right, this is a little bit simpler. One fourth r plus two is equal to 10. And then they immediately go from that to just one fourth r. So they got rid of this two on the left hand side. Well, to do that, you could subtract two from the left, but of course you would also have to do that from the right hand side. And so you get 1 fourth r plus 2 minus 2, that would just be 1 fourth r. So that, the left hand side makes sense. 10 minus 2 is not 12, 10 minus 2 is 8. This right over here should be 8. They added 2 on the right hand side. They subtracted 2 on the left hand side, and they added 2 on the right hand side. Then the equality wouldn't hold anymore. So you definitely have an error. Step one is not correct.